Hey guys and girls, welcome to your 8th HTML5 and CSS3 tutorial by iFactner.com and in this tutorial series we are making a full functional website, a static website for beginners and in this tutorial number 8 we will be styling our sidebar. Right now if we see, see our page it looks like something like this and we would like our sidebar, our left sidebar to look like this. So what I would do is I go to my template.html file and I have already opened it in notepad++ and I give an ID to my sidebar. So let's suppose we give it an ID of left side. I save my page. I go to ifactner.css file and then I scroll down and then I tell my CSS file to select left underscore side and change its background color to something like yellow. So I write background color, sorry, back ground dash color and change its property to something like yellow. So uh, before we had, uh, we have been using uh, the name of the colors, but right now we would be using the RGB values, red, green and blue values. I write RGB and I have already noted the RGB value of that yellow color to be something around 249, 249 and 148. So the RGB values are from 0 to 255 uh, for red, 0 to 255 for blue, green and 0 to 255 for blue. So it is, I say something like 148 and I save my file, go to template.html in the notepad++, click on run command and launch my file in chrome.html. So now my uh, left hand sidebar has been changed into some uh, color similar to our mockup. Mock now what I want to do is I want this left hand side to be around 240 pixels wide and it and the other uh, two articles the main articles of my uh, page should be in front of that left hand side bar. Right now it is using all the space on my screen. So I tell my CSS file that the width of my left hand sidebar is 240 pixels right px and I also want to use a property called float so I say that the, the, the this bar is floating towards the left so I say float to left I save my file and I go to my browser, refresh my page and see that now I have created my left hand sidebar. And now what I would like to do is to create my articles into something like this and to put my footer at the bottom of the page. Right now my page is looking like this. So what would we do is that we would use the same float property for our articles. But uh, for the articles we would be using a class because we have got more than one article as you can see in our HTML file and we would be doing it in the next tutorial. So see you guys in the next tutorial. Take care. Bye bye.